Joe Lansdale came and sat down right across from me, probably doing the same thing, waiting on somebody. And he made a comment like something about it being a good, good convention. And, you know, I was kind of taken aback by him addressing me. He asked where I was from. And at that time I lived in Greenville. I said, oh, I'm from Greenville, Texas. I said, oh, I've been through Greenville. And we started just a little conversation about Greenville, Texas. And of course, in, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, this is one of my fucking heroes just struck up a conversation with me. Probably doesn't even remember because um, now all the interaction with Death Set Press and Stitching Sky goes through Jared because they they become buddies, you know. But uh, yeah, they live closer together, so I, I haven't had the chance to be in on their little brunches or whatever the fuck they do. But uh, he was such a nice guy and um, had no idea I was a writer, no idea I was a publisher. And that's the kind of person uh, the horror community needs, especially in the uh, these subgenres where there's so many people, so few people rather to, to look up to in that regard, because we're all uh, kind of on this same level where we're just scratching for sales, you know. Um, whereas you got Joe Lansdale here, who's written some of the same type of stuff we've written, but he's made a huge success of it. And so hearing from people like him and uh, before his passing, Jack Ketch on my hair, he was much the same way. Um, and Richard Lehman too. Those kind of people influence us and we're trying to get there. And they let us know that it is attainable to make a living doing this, that there are, pe there are enough people that appreciate it, that you can build up a huge readership for fucked up content.